Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about XAMPP versus WAMP. What's the difference according to their pros and cons? So let's get started with what is XAMPP. So XAMPP is a local server that constitutes cross-platform Apache, MariaDB, MySQL, PHP, and Perl. This free open source platform works on devices like Windows, Linux, Mac, and so much more. Moreover, XAMPP has a hassle-free installation and less complicated use. Now, it enables you to install and use content management systems like WordPress and Joomla along with the advantages provided by FileZilla. Now that we know what XAMPP is, let's talk about some of the features of XAMPP. First and foremost is that it is supported by multiple platforms such as Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It is an open source local server. It comprises fewer prerequisites for installation and configuration. It has the support for Apache, MariaDB, PHP, and Perl. It constitutes modules and extensions that prove to be highly beneficial for beginners, and users find its interface straightforward and effortless to use. After that, let's talk about some of the pros of XAMPP. Well, the first and the biggest advantage of XAMPP is that it is easy to configure and use. Other than that, it is a multi-cross platform which means that you can use it in Linux and Windows. Now, it comprises several other crucial modules like PHP My Admin, OpenSSL, MediaWiki, WordPress, Joomla, and so much more. Also, it comes in both full and standard versions so that you can choose from according to your requirements. And it also enables users to start and stop the entire web server and data stack with just one single command. Now, this is something that we do not get with other softwares like this. Now let's talk about some of the cons of XAMPP and XAMPP has only one disadvantage and that is that users usually find the configuration and setting up of XAMPP really orders. Now after the XAMPP, let's discuss what is WAMP. Now WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. And unlike XAMPP, this server is only available just for Windows working framework. It means that you can utilize it on Windows PC to run sites and apps coded in PHP programming language. Moreover, this is nothing convoluted about the set setup. It only requires components like an operating system, programming language, database, and the web server. And since it works on Apache web servers, it is usually good with Windows. After that, let's discuss some of the key features of WAMP. Well, the first and the foremost is again that it is fully supported by Windows, and it includes Apache, MySQL, and PHP. It has a straightforward interface which makes it effortless to use. And unlike XAMPP, it is not an open source platform. The installation and configuration process is relatively effortless and it comprises modules supported only on Windows. So these were some of the features of WAMP. So let's now talk about some of the pros that we get with WAMP. Well, installing and configuring the web server is quite effortless. And in WAMP, coding PHP and creating database on the Windows platform is also effortless. Now, it includes several modules that involve OpenSSL, PHP My Admin, MediaWiki, and so much more. And since it is only available for Windows operating system, this means that it supports both 64-bit and 32-bit system architecture. And just like XAMPP, you can also begin and stop the entire web server and database with only one command. After the pros, let's discuss some of the cons of WAMP. Now, installing WAMP is not easy when compared to XAMPP, and this is the biggest con of WAMP. Now that we are familiar with XAMPP and WAMP and their pros and cons, let's talk about the comparison between XAMPP and WAMP. So let's start the comparison. So the first thing that we're going to compare is the platform. Now XAMPP is a cross-platform which means that it runs successfully on Windows, Linux and Mac OS, whereas the WAMP only runs on Windows. And the next category is modules and extension. Performance in XAMPP constitutes several modules and programs like Tomcat, MariaDB, FileZilla, Mercury Mail, etc. On the other hand, WAMP has fewer modules and programs in comparison to XAMPP, such as MySQL but runs only on Windows system. In modules and extensions, XAMPP takes the upper hand. After that, we have the license. Now, both of the local servers are licensed under the GNU public license. And the only difference is that XAMPP is an open source platform while WAMP is not. However, users can download and use it for free. After that, we have size. Now, XAMPP is lightweight as compared to WAMP. Its size is not larger than 160 MBs. On the other hand, WAMP is almost around 300 megabytes. Next thing is support. Now, while XAMPP supports PHP and Perl, WAMP only supports PHP. After that, we have the ease of use. Well, since XAMPP has a better interface with the start button than WAMP, it is considered to be better option for the beginners. So, in the category of ease of use, XAMPP takes the upper hand. After that, we have the security. 
Well, the major difference between XAMPP and WAMP is security. If your project does not contain sensitive information, then choose XAMPP, which is the better choice. Now, XAMPP can be used to host local websites, but keep in mind the security measures. On the other hand, if your project requires security as a top priority, then choose WAMP. It was created to keep security in mind. When it comes to XAMPP versus WAMP security debate, we can clearly say that WAMP is the clear winner. Now, after this comparison, let's talk about the key differences between XAMPP and WAMP. Well, starting off, XAMPP is a cross-platform software package that supports Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. On the other hand, WAMP is a local server that only supports Windows operating system. Other than this, XAMPP is more resource-consuming than WAMP because of heavy amount of internal component software like Tomcat, FileZilla FTP server, Webalizer, Mercury Mail, and so much more. So if you do not need high features, then it is a better option to go with WAMP. Other than these, XAMPP is easier to use than WAMP. XAMPP is more powerful. XAMPP has a control panel from that you can start and stop individual components such as MySQL, Apache, and etc. Also, XAMPP is easy to install and configure. However, it may differ from different platforms. On the contrary, WAMP is easier to install, easier to download, and it is also lightweight as compared to XAMPP. Other than these, XAMPP uses MariaDB, which is an RDBMS used for storing and retrieving operations on data. Whereas WAMP uses MySQL, which is also an RDBMS for storing and retrieving operations on data. Now, the programming and scripting language XAMPP use for the development are Perl and PHP. On the contrary, WAMP only uses PHP programming language for scripting and for web development. After this, both of the local servers use Apache Web Server. XAMPP is more sturdy and resource taking as compared to WAMP. XAMPP comprises SSL features, whereas the WAMP does not constitute SSL. XAMPP is available in a 32-bit system only. On the other hand, WAMP is available for both 64-bit and 32-bit system architectures. Anyways, these were all of the key differences between XAMPP and WAMP. And if you still want to learn more, then simply check out the blog linked in the description box. And if you have learned anything new from this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.